Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. We'll start with 1. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider, everybody say consider. Consider. The apostle and the high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. Amen. Consider the apostle and the high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him as also Moses, who was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, in so much as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. Right. For every house is built by some man, but that, but that built all things is God. Amen? Amen. All things are built by God. All things were created by God. Amen. Amen. If we just lift up our hands and just thank the Lord, say, God, we're coming for you on here today. We thank you, God, for all those that are here this morning, our guests, our friends, uh, our families that are here this morning, God. Our pastor's not with us, Lord, and his wife, God. They're on their way out of town, Lord. But God, bring them back safely to your house of thanksgiving, Lord. Bring us your word, Lord. We know your word is anointed. Now help me, Lord, and preach with power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a hand praise. Come on. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. I'm sure some of you this morning were considering not to be here today. Right. I'm sure some of you said, well, my pastor and I will be here. Well, you know, I'll take a vacation too. Right. So we might have considered not being here this morning. Our children might have woke up and said, Mom, Dad, I don't want them because they've considered that going to church is boring. That church is for old folks. That church is for adults and not for kids or young people. Right. We've considered uh, certain situations in our life where we are looking for work or, 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 or at our own job where we attend and, and where we work very hard. Uh, our managers might come to us and tell us uh, or say to us, so oh, we've considered uh, promoting you. We've considered uh, in uh, giving you this, uh, uh, this job so that you can be a supervisor or a manager. You know what? We've considered promoting you for such great work and uh, you're so faithful, you're so uh, always on time, you're always, uh, uh, you never miss, so we've considered giving you this opportunity to advance and grow in this, pros this prosperous company. We've considered uh, many times in, in moving out of this town that just doesn't seem to get better for us. Uh, we've considered moving out of the home that we live because finances are difficult, uh, homes are going into foreclosure, and we've considered downsizing, we've considered other options. Uh, the word consider we've read right now in, uh, uh, in, in uh, Hebrews, uh, how uh, consider the apostle, consider uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, as your Savior. If you must understand, if anything you must understand this morning, that the word consider is to think about very carefully. The word consider is to think about with the idea of taking some action. All right. Amen. Amen. You think about it. You've considered a, a big decision in your life. You know what? I'm thinking of going back where I was brought up uh, in another state. So if you considered uh, uh, moving out of the situation, you might even consider leaving this church and attending another church. Uh, the word consider is to think about with the idea of taking some action. Right. Yeah. Amen. Your companies, your bosses, they consider either firing you or promoting you. Times are difficult and they are faced to make certain changes so they consider their employees. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. If we have a problem, we must consider Christ. Yeah. Right. If we have troubles and there are burdens in our life, we must consider Christ. Amen. Yeah. If we are anxious or, 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 or uh, uh, depressed or discouraged uh, in one way or another, things are not going the way we plan, the way we set our goals, we must consider Christ. Right. We must consider Christ to govern our lives. Yeah. Right. Our homes, how we lead our children, how we set examples. We must allow Christ to govern our lives, to govern our every moment. Before we take that step, know that Christ has already stepped that step forward before you even take it. Knowing that we have considered that there's no other option 
but Jesus Christ. Right. We've placed it in our minds. We've placed it in our hearts. You know what? I must consider Christ before I make a move, before I make this decision. I always tell the young people, they talk about, oh, they have a girlfriend or they have a boyfriend or they're making a certain decision. I go, have you considered Christ in this decision making? Did you pray? Did you ask the Lord to help you through this situation? Because you know what? We as people, we as human people make mistakes in our decision making. A lot of times our certain decisions that we make are fatal or bring consequences that are not good. So we consider, we need to consider Jesus Christ in our lives. In everything that we do, we must consider Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 The Bible tells us of how we must consider Jesus Christ. Amen. If I may take you back a little bit, Jesus Christ as a man was a kind man. Right. Amen. Therefore, we should also be kind to one another. Amen. 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 We were done uh, the season of the city of Palmdale. Uh, the basketball teams had just concluded yesterday. And uh, as some of the games are still going on, uh, my wife noticed that there was a small little puppy that a little boy was holding. And uh, it, it brought our attention because it would look so cute. And, and it was one of these little dogs that, you know, a lot of these actors and, and famous people like Paris Hilton and Duffy and all them, they carry around these little dogs and right. carry them everywhere, take them, they dress them, they put bows on their hands. They, and and this, this was one of those type of little dogs. That, and it brought our attention. We came close. We kind of knew one of the little boys that was holding that dog, we knew their parents, and uh, this dog was shaking and trembling, I mean, you know, little dogs get scared, and so my wife picked him up and, and started cuddling him, and, and, and the dog relaxed, it started relaxing, and uh, one of the boys that was with this boy that was holding this dog, or was caretaking this dog, was saying, you know what, you should put this little dog in hot water, you should put this little dog in hot water. Because if you put him in hot water, all his hairs are going to fall out. And I said to myself, man, that's, that's not true. And that's not a kind thing to say. You cannot encourage each other to do such horrible things to a small little dog. So his mindset was not to be kind or to have compassion. But he got considered to do harm to a small animal that got created for the pleasure of humans. Right. Amen. Or mankind. Right. <laughs> and then we cuddle this puppy and we, we call the mom over and we're just asking where she got it from and how much she paid for it. Because my wife wants a little dog, you know, a little take, you know, you know, they're cute at the point. You know, go along with the flow. Yeah, you know, just <laughs> Amen. You know, we gotta be smart. Amen. You gotta you gotta have understanding too, you know. You gotta consider, you know what? Let's not argue about this. Let's not uh, uh, let's not turn this into something uh, into a bad thing. Let's let's have fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So let's consider our options here. So as we went on, we we put this child, we, we put this child, we put this little dog into into back into its into his little box uh, where it was his carry on, and and we we're just laughing and cheering and speaking to these parents about. What a beautiful little dog it was and how it brings joy. And she was saying, us, this little dog brings joy to their family, their kids, and all that. And, and we're just thinking, well, all right, that sounds good. We'll think about it. We'll, we'll call these people. We'll, we'll, we'll make an appointment and we'll check them out. We'll see what kind of dogs they got because well, we've had a few dogs. And they've been painful, you know, in the past, you know, when they decide to go to a different life. Uh, it brings pain and hurt to the children, amen. Our last dog well, wasn't too, uh, you know, we had a Dalmatian and, and we named a Duke and we had fun, but I didn't know a lot of things about raising a small pup and, and we got to taking them around the neighborhood and walking them at, at an early age and, and we didn't know that they could get sick and then they get that parvo disease and, and, and then they, that takes them down and, and then, you know, you try to pray for it. You, you, you pray for the dog, you pray for it. You and, uh, and, and you know you're trying to comfort your kids and, and you consider other options amen right. it's painful it's, right. it's, it hurts to see your wife and your children cry for some, something so so loving because you learn to love it you learn to care for it you learn to have compassion for it I don't know about you but I had fishes before and, and I cried when 
my fish is dying. <laughs> <laughs> they 